Hey, what's up, kids? It's me, The Mick. Uh, if you're coming from TikTok, welcome. Thank you so much for the love or the hate. I really couldn't give a shit less. Um, and if you're just here because you follow me on YouTube or you just found me on YouTube, I don't know what TikTok is. TikTok, I, I don't know. Um, but I made a post on TikTok that I don't have, definitely. Um, talking about the 40k Warhammer universe and it got way more attention and traction than I ever thought anything that I would ever create in a million years would get. Um, I've been seeing a lot of things about female space Marines and rewriting the lore and putting in good representation for people. I'm not here to say representation's bad. I'm not here to be like, oh, I'm a white dude who's trying to be like, hey, you got to keep everything the same. What I am going to say about the 40k universe is that kind of the same thing I've said in, in two previous videos I did on another platform that doesn't exist to me is that 40k is the grim dark future um, where everything and everyone is terrible. Uh, there is no clear black and white as to who's in the right, who's in the wrong, who is the good guy, who is the bad guy. If you look at just about everybody's surface level, you can be like, oh my god, yeah, there is a good guy. Well, then if you dig slightly deeper, you're just like, oh my god, these people suck terribly. And if you're unfamiliar with the 40k universe, I highly recommend that you go in and, and you check it out. There's a little bit of something for everybody. If you're a World War One, World War Two fanatic, something for you. If you're somebody who likes badass female characters who just charge in and, and take the lead and fucking kill people, there's something for you. If you like want and murder violence and just you're not happy unless everyone's dead, you don't care which side it is, there's something for you. Like, there's something for just about everybody in the 40K universe as it stands. But no matter how much you love a faction, no matter how much you enjoy uh, who or what or however you want to look at it in that 40K universe, the whole point of it being the grim, dark, far future is that it sucks if you paid me a thousand dollars or if you were just like hey i could snap my fingers and send you into the universe of star wars i'd take that shit in a heartbeat if you could say hey i could snap my fingers and send you into the the dungeons and dragons universe whether that be the forgotten realms or what matt mercer has made i'd do it in a heartbeat because guess what if i lived a fanciful life of adventuring yeah i might die by the time i'm 40 or 50 but that being said i would have good memories. I would have a good time for a decent bit of those 40 or 50 years, although I'm old now, so that'd be like 10 to 20 years, but still, I would have a good time. If you were like, hey, right now, I would make you the um, like the, the purest living leader of the most powerful faction in the 40k Warhammer universe, and, and you were top tier of the top tier, and, and I'll send you there, I would always say no. No matter what faction, no matter who it was, I would say no every single time because the Warhammer 40k universe sucks. 40k is a terrible place. Most of humanity lives in complete ignorance. In fact, they push ignorance on people where you're supposed to just blindly follow the god emperor. Um, the Eldar are constantly in a rat race to, one, show their superiority complex, whether they're the good guys or the bad guys of the Eldar, because there's two separate factions of the Eldar. Um, and they're constantly on the run from a chaos god that they created. If you're in chaos, obviously chaos is kind of terrible in its own sense. Um, then you have the Tau, which is like hyper-communism. You have the Imperium, which is hyper-oligarchy. Um, you have the Orcs, who are just... If there is a violent thought that can be had, they have had it and they are acting on it 24-7. Their currency is their teeth. And it's unlike the American medical system where it's like, oh, you don't have insurance where you're going to pay out the ass. It's, oh, you don't have the money. I'm going to punch you in the face, rip out all your teeth, and that's your payment. Uh, 
and it's you have the Tyranids who are just tiny little bugs whose whole thing is to collect biomass for the giant hive mind that they belong to, and then that creates more tiny little bug things that just collect more biomass, and that's what makes 40k interesting and unique and fun is that yes there's a lot of things that a lot of people can relate to and i want more people to be within the fandom because i would love my 80 dollar model to not cost 80 dollars anymore i actually don't know if he was 80 dollars he was probably closer to like 60 i know i'm handling him like whatever but i spent six hours painting him i can handle him how i want and that was the whole point of the, the video I made and then the secondary video that I uploaded where it was like, 40k sucks. And not in the sense that it's terribly written. I know that the lore is constantly rewritten, but one, Warhammer 40k has been around since the time that my dad was younger than me. And two, a lot of the lore, they've kind of given themselves a built-in scapegoat where it's like, hey dude, um... 40k is all the lore that we have is from the perspective of the Imperium, ge generally speaking. So you're gonna have a lot of continuity errors. I understand that there's a lot of shit going on with Space Marines and who's a Primarch, who's not a Primarch, who's alive, who's dead. And I think once you have a franchise that does last that long, it, you're just going to run into it. There's been retcons of all sorts with Star Wars, which is personally my favorite, which is above the 40K universe. Um, and that it's going to change. It's going to be different. Uh, I've always said that I would love for them to have found the Lost Legion of Space Marines and them be a full female Space Marine Legion. Because that would kind of make sense. It makes more sense that there would also be female space marines within the 40k universe in order for them to be able to properly procreate without the need of gene seed. I understand that a lot of people who don't follow 40k are kind of going to get lost in the sauce on this one. Or on a lot of things. But again, I, I highly recommend everybody. Um, there's a podcast called um, Lorehammer, who I think is also on um, YouTube, but they're definitely on Spotify and things like that, that really do deep dives on this kind of stuff. And that would make sense. You don't have to keep constantly harvesting gene seed off of old uh, space marines. The space marines can just procreate, and if they come out male, they join one of these legions, and if they come out female, they join one of the other legions. But it also makes sense that there wouldn't be female space marines because now it is like, yeah, you have these super hyper futuristic badass motherfuckers fucking kicking ass, taking names and doing stuff like that. But they're in such short supply that the majority of humanity just assumes that they're myth uh, within humanity itself. You could be an Imperial Guardsman because you signed up. Sure, that's great. You signed up. But you could also be an Imperial Guardsman because you sneezed while some member of the Ecclesiarchy is happening to be wandering by and they're like, nope, clearly you're a heretic. Clearly you need to atone for your sins. So we're going to sign you up for the military. And the military, the Astro Militarum, the Imperial Guardsmen, their lifespan on a hostile planet is, I think, 15 minutes or so um the eldari are mostly vat grown if i remember correctly i'm probably getting certain specifics of the lore wrong the whole point of it though is that it's a terrible existence to have no matter who you are and that was the long and short of what i was trying to say is hey Warhammer 40k is not the place you want to super identify with a character just like people who are like I identify with Rick Sanchez or I identify with the Joker I'm like I immediately don't want to associate with you because you're a terrible either you're a terrible person because you don't have a personality and you think you're way edgier and way cooler than you are or you have serious undiagnosed untreated mental problems that you don't see as problems so it's one thing, I love the orcs, because they're just big dumb boys who go, rah, 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 fight, fight, fight. The reason I like them is because they're dumb, they're stupid, they make sense. And, I mean, there's even people who think that the orcs are racist because they're based off of black Americans. First off, Games Workshop is based out of uh, the United Kingdom, so 
probably wouldn't be. And it's been said s- several times. I almost tripped up because I wanted to say thousands, but I instead said several times um, that they are based off of uh, rugby players uh, in the UK and in parts of Europe who were just like, but they're caricatures. That's the whole thing is 40 K is also filled with caricatures of these. Oh, let's take this group of people. Now let's just amplify them to a point where they're almost unrecognizable and they're terrible. Um, Obviously, with uh, the Imperium of Man, it would be like any type of military persona or any type of uh, oligarchy, which is like led by religion. I think the only thing that we have right now is the Vatican, um, where it's just blindly following and worshipping this god or god emperor um, in order to carry out your will because your will is right. Um, and that was the whole point I was kind of trying to make. Uh, I love 40 K. I want people to identify with 40 K. I want people to find a faction that they love. I want more people to be involved in 40 K because it's a fun, cool universe. And I love being, being able to sit down with someone and be like, Oh my God, you like 40 K? Who's your faction? Who do you like? Why do you like them? Oh my God. Like what stories have you built on your faction? Um, but by the same token, understanding that if you're like, I want a proper representation of insert anything here, you're not going to get it. It's going to be shit. They're going to be terrible. They're going to be evil and they're going to be destructive. They're not going to be positive in any way, shape or form. And that's kind of the long and short of this is it is the grim, dark, far future where everyone and everything is terrible. Um, thank you so much for listening. If you've stayed this long, if you'd like more 40 K stuff, I'd be more than happy to do 40 K stuff. Um, I've been thinking of doing paint streams where people are able to just kind of get on and we can just either one talk about four K, uh, 40 K or we can just paint models and you can have like a friend to sit there and paint models with. Um, that being said with painting models, um, I have this guy who, um, yeah, it's hard to, I mean, fuck, I don't know how cameras work. Yeah, I, I, I was paint. so this is, like, a blank, uh, uh, just a blank little thing, and I swear to you, I, I painted an orc, but as you can see, like, there's nothing on it. And, and I know that I painted him because I put him right next to my, like, to-be-painted models. Like, this guy. And and he... There's just nothing on there. Like, clearly there's, like, an orc here. Right? But if I come up here, there's no orc. There's no orc whatsoever. I don't know. Like, it's it's weird. Did I, I think I just lost him, but has anybody else ever had that problem? where they just kind of lose their models. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any comments or anything that you would like to add to this or want me to talk about, I know I'm not a master of eloquence or necessarily an authority on any of these topics. Uh, that being said though, thank you so much for watching. If you want more of this, let me know. If you just want more random gaming content, like and subscribe. Uh, And I'll see you kids in the next.